Grande Nitro for Tim. There you go, man. Sweet, Thank man. you. Have a good one. The nation's largest coffee chain putting its corporate employees on notice. To do your job really well, um, I think there's a piece of this where you have to be in the office. The new CEO wants to enforce a two-year-old policy. Corporate staff must be in the office three days a week. To be a part of Starbucks. You got to contribute to the culture. Oh. You got to show up and you got to bring a positive energy. He's new to the job. Based in California, he commutes to Seattle via private jet. Also in Seattle, Amazon Web Services expects a full five-day return to office early next year, prompting roughly 37,000 employees to join an internal Slack channel to complain. These companies that are saying you got to be in the office three days a week or five days a week, they're going to lose. They're going to lose talent who demand flexibility. Yes. And we can demand flexibility now because we didn't realize that we could before. One study found most employers want workers in the office at least three days a week, but only 51% of employees right now actually are. And 80% of companies have returned to office policies. Only 17% enforce them. Some companies are quietly downsizing their big office footprints to save money. And others, like Spotify and Dropbox, are now fully remote. 2025 will be an attempt to get people back into the office, but ultimately the pace of change in technology will get us all working virtually. For now, companies struggling to balance culture and the flexibility many workers crave. Christine Romans, NBC News, New York. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.